Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Another quick shop tour video for you guys and an outdoor equipment setup here, as you guys can see behind me. A lot of plow equipment and my man, Christian from CNI Services. What's up, bud? How's it going, Brian? Dude, long time no see. Long time no see. It's been three months. It's been a long three months, Brian. <laughs> uh, really quick, it's about, what is it right now? Real field. It's about 15 degrees. It's probably real field of zero. <laughs> You know, three months, but about 60, 70 degrees colder than the last time you were here, Brian. Uh, somebody forgot to pay the heating bill in Chicagoland, so. And anyway, I'm loving it. <laughs> you are crazy, bro. It is super cold. I'm wearing gloves. The camera is freezing. Any which way, if you guys enjoy the video, uh, any such stretch of the way through, do me a big solid, big thumbs up on the video. We're doing it for you guys. So, uh, you're actually our sixth person on the fall winter shop tour series that's brought to you guys by uh, Billy Goat, Western, and Buyers. Shout out to those guys. But the reason we're over here in Shot Town is to highlight your plow setup, your equipment setup, and your compact snow equipment. So, you ready to take it away? Oh yeah, I'm excited. We gotta get moving to get some blood flowing, man, because it is freaking cold out here. So, all right, without further ado, let's not waste any time. I'm following you. What do we got going on, boss? Hi, right, Brian. So, over the last couple of years, maybe a lot of your viewers have seen me grow. We started with the multi-forces. Well, we started with Snowblood and the multi-forces, two of those, yep. Steiner, and then we had a UTV. Now this year, uh, we or a couple years ago, we also added the red truck with the Snowx uh, HDV V plow on there, 86. That's more residential, small commercial rig. That was in 2020. In 2021, we or 2020 we bought the truck. In 21, we got this 8 to 10 foot power plow with the two and a half yard Snowx Helix salter in the back, and that has 100 gallons of liquid. And this year, we added this 2022 F550. It's got the eight and a half to 11 power plow snow X. On the back, it has a three and a half yard helix spreader with 200 gallons of liquid capacity. Really excited about this year's snow uh, fleet. We've grown more and more into commercial over the last couple of years. And this year, we've actually tripled the amount of parking lots we have compared to last year. And additional to that, so this, since last winter, this truck was new and on the back it is a switch and go rig so it's roll off we have another we have two attachments so this one's like the dump body mason body i call it um which got like the sides you can put boards in it and then the other one's a dumpster uh we have a dumpster and that's an 11 foot system with electric hoist now that's crazy that's crazy yeah it's sweet um one thing the nice thing about that is you get those early early fall late um late spring salt runs you just slide the body right off, pick up your salt spreader, and you don't have to take off your mulch box or anything like that. Because what happened this fall is we had a salt run on like the 15th of November and we had to take off our whole leaf box and could put the salter on. So the 450 stayed like that ever since. But that's crazy. Yeah, it's it's sweet. It's uh it's a perfect size rig, and as you guys know, we love our crew cabs. Our crew uh, with the full, you know, full crew cab, there's plenty of space for our guys. I, I'm really about company culture, taking care of our guys and make sure everybody's taken care of. And the crew cab allows three to four guys very comfortably sitting there. It's like a first class plane ticket, the amount of leg room that's in there, it's pretty crazy. Right. And um, there's room for their lunch boxes still and all that stuff and you know, oil, mixed oil, whatever. All right. Wait, let me interrupt you really quick, because uh, you had a lot of great things going on, but I didn't want to leave one of the stars of the show out, although it is getting lighted up right now. No, not the signer. Oh. You did your skid steer. Skid steer. So, we did get a, actually last week I picked up a 2023 Caterpillar 262D3. It's the largest machine you can get without going to, without having a DEF system on it. So it's like 74.9 horsepower or something. Um, and we are very, very, very excited for that. That's going to be one of the largest key players in our snow plowing part of our commercials this year. As we've gotten a lot more into industrial snow removal and larger commercial type of thing. Yep. And if we can go back a little here, we'll show you. you exactly what's going on that. By the way, thank you for uh, hosting and being a, a good champ about all this because the last two days, you have did back to back to back snowplow runs. You guys can see the bags under his eyes. No, I got you. I hey, got give you. Give me one there. <laughs> but uh, I was like, hey, we're still on, right? And you're like, yeah, dude, I just went to bed three hours ago. Yeah, so we, we salted like four times. Watch the curb behind you. We salted yep. like four times in 30 hours. It was awesome, loved it, and <laughs> I had a lot of fun, and we got, made, made a little bread. But there you go, there you go. Here is our new, it's actually the first year Snow has had these. It's a, it's the power uh, the power pusher with the trace technology, which is the sectional edges. So there's like six, five or six edges on there, and that's to get the really nice scrape. They're independent, and this is a 10-footer. It's a big one, so that's going to go on the front of our skid steer. 
and do the commercials and we're really excited this one has the high mold board too so it, this thing this thing can hold a lot of snow grind that is sharp and so that's gonna be coupled to the cat yeah it's to be coupled to the cat and then we'll have the bucket there too if we need to do snow relocation or anything like that um or salt if we have salt on site or anything but uh right now it's just this in the bucket so dude that's awesome yeah that's congratulations been, man. thank you man it's uh it's, i love snow rule it's my favorite service to offer i love everything about it and this was a really exciting year for us, and it all really came together in November, um, late kept, you, October, November. And say so you've uh, come quite a bit of a uh, way since uh, your first Aaron snowblower that you were uh, pushing with your uh, younger brother nine years ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've come quite a way, Brian, and, and I, I'm really excited about it and grateful. Um, and it's you know one fortunate thing is uh, I don't know, most skid steers knew there's a long lead time on it, and a buddy of mine, Chris, had actually a couple ordered and decided not to take them. So I was able to get one of his units, you know, within a month instead of waiting seven, eight months. Wow. So I was really fortunate and still am that I was able to kind of snipe that unit um, that he decided not to take so that, uh, so that I could have a unit for this winter because you know how long, like lead times, you had your new truck, like you get it. And that was honestly huge. Yep, yep. Um, well, yeah. well, I'm following you, man. You want to go through the whole fleet? Well, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to highlight is yes, the snow plows and all the, the stuff that you got going on, but you guys also specialize a lot in uh, compact equipment. Uh, you're in the West suburbs of Chicago. Yep. So the standard big plows don't always work in your neck of the woods. Yeah, so this truck can do basic cookie cutter driveways, right? Yep and it'll do that in small commercials. But on 75% of our properties, you can only maybe do half of the driveway with a plow truck, and then the back half would have to be with a shovel or snowblower. So, so for example, like this with the Steiner unit, right? We have the power broom on here, which we use for up to, you know, four or five, we use it four inches of snow, maybe five if it's fluffy. And this thing can do an incredible job. It leaves a perfect, perfect uh, sweep, you know, surface. And it can it has articulating frames, so it can go right around. Um, a lot of the, a lot of our properties have driveways that are right along the house, so like a garage in the back, just like I have like bigger houses. Yeah. And um, it's real tight. It's too tight for a truck a lot of times, where they got like a courtyard or something we got to get into. So this unit is really clutch for that. And about half of the night, this unit spends doing commercial walkways in downtown where we are, and uh, for our new apartments that we have. And it also has like a Snowix uh, drop, uh, drop spreader in the back. The Precision Pro, and then the other half of the night it's doing driveways. So this coupled with we have two multi forces, um, the five foot boss plows on those, we can do some serious driveways, Brian. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, we have um, we have about 60 driveways this year, 60 to 70, and then we're we're up there in the parking lots. You know, I think around 10 or uh, about 15 lots. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, yep. so then you uh, have the plow trucks. Now these are the newer uh, items the last two years yep. as you guys are getting into bigger and bigger parking lots and bigger yeah. sites. Yeah, we've been growing slowly, Brian. It's This is a 2020 plow. This is a 2021 plow and salter. And it's a 2022 plow and salter. So it's not overnight. It's been like slowly year after year we've been adding as we grow our clients and kind of I decided to go more the commercial direction. Um, and one of the big advantages to that is that we can stay, we can keep our guys busier when we're getting less than an inch of snow. Right. Typically, you know, even our, even a lot of guys around here, they're snowing, their trigger for residential is two inches. My thought of that is we provide a white glove service because if it's under two inches, the client's probably not going to shovel it themselves. It'll just become icy and and hazardous. So we do a one inch trigger for our residentials, and we all of ninety percent of our commercials are zero tolerance. So every time you get even a dusting like you guys got this morning, any any coating of snow, ice, we're out there working. Our guys are getting hours. We're staying busy in the off season. There you go, there you go. Well, uh, what do you want to go first? You want to talk about one of the plows or yeah. how, how has this been in the field? Because this one is two seasons old now? Yeah, this one's two seasons old um, and er, I guess. Well, one season, technically. One season, yeah, going into two. So this one actually we have a poly edge on it because um, we decided to do a poly edge because we actually have a couple large driveways that we actually are able to use this on. And some of the driveways that, or some of the lots that this one's on are pretty bad. So the steel edge would just rip it right up. Right. So, and this one actually surprisingly has a lot of wear left on it. It's probably, we still probably got two seasons left on it and it's a poly edge or a rubber or whatever it is. It's not a steel. Cool. So it's got the sections as you guys can see, I angled one in yep. and left one out all the way. So it's kind of like the Western whiteout, but yep. the Snowx version. Yep. And the nice thing about the Snowx ones are they have <laughs> down pressure as a standard feature, which is I believe pretty exclusive to the Snowx. So it's just on your controller, you can 
have down pressure, so it's really nice for Back driveways. Yeah, and I, I actually was always a believer in the V plows, but then once I, I was like, oh, I'll try, you know, give these, give one of these a, a shot, and I ended up getting one for my other truck because I love it so much. Well, here I'm, I'm following you, so. Yeah, we'll go to the V plow next, I guess. So this one's a, like a eight, eight foot six inches stainless. Um, this one is, this one's going on. This is will be a third, third season. It's going to be in use coming up. And uh, as I said, this one, oh, this one all, also has a poly edge on it. And this one is the same edge we had for three years. This is going on its third year, two full seasons of use. And all of our driveways, we have to have a poly edge because about half of them, no, more than half of them are cement or concrete and uh, pavers. Yep. So it's must have for us. And this one also has down pressure on it, which is really helpful for back dragging those driveways. Sure. Hey, really quick, uh, Russo Power Equipment, right? Yep, that's where we got this one installed. They're a big, they're a big one around us. Shout out to Russo. A lot of those, uh, a lot of people in the Chicagoland area know those guys. Yep. Always good people. Those at Russo, and then the other one, that one was done at Central Parts Warehouse. Okay. Another big installer, I guess. All right. And then, um, so yeah, we uh, take the back rack off and the sides on that truck, and so you get real nice visibility. And then all of the trucks, I forgot to mention, have cameras from their Optimo Electronics. They're from Yusuf, you know, at Route 1. Yep. And all the trucks are strobed up. We, we went all out. At, and Yusuf did those as well at Route 1 Industries. Um, which is where the skid is, getting all lit up. Which is where the skid is. It's getting. That's where I, I meant to mention that. The skid's getting lit up at Route 1 right now. So that's where uh, that's where it is. But yeah, so it, one, one thing we found about lighting is, yeah, people think it's flashy, this, that, and the other. But it is so essential. Two days ago, I was salting a lot. It was at apartments. And it was busy. It was five o'clock on a Friday. Everybody's getting back from work, and it was a, and the lights just—it really makes you stand out, and people really take take it seriously, take you seriously in the lot. So there you go. Safety first. So important. And then the floodlights in the back—I couldn't do it without it. There you go. There you go. Um, By the way, I think it's gotten five degrees colder since we started this. Yeah, like I'm slurring my lip words. <laughs> cheeks are rosy. Hands are cold. Dude, it's freezing cold. It's I need got, to go my winter body, so I'm fine. I'm I say fine. it's realistically got to be like five degrees out right now. So I got my uh, Milwaukee heated uh, Under Armour. Right. On, so. I'll turn that thing on right now. There you go. Boom. Shout out to Milwaukee. Um, Sponsor right. me. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'll hit the boy. Uh, all right, so this is your new uh, baby since, uh, what, this summer, right? Yeah, I actually picked this truck up in Oklahoma with uh, 22, with 5,000 miles on it. Right. And uh, had a flatbed on it, and then we had a we converted to a switch and go system. It's got the 11 foot electric hoist on there. Did you sell your flatbed yet? Not sell the flatbed. So anybody wants a 11 foot flatbed, like new, my boy. like new condition, I'll get you a good price. Yep. In Chicagoland area, skirted, toolboxes, got it all. Hit me up. Just trying to help you out. Yeah, 11 footer. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, so this one's a bigger one. Uh, it's the 8.5 to 11 foot power plow. This one's got the steel edge. This one's exclusively commercial and the lots are in all really nice condition. So gotcha. I won't have any problem tearing anything up. So on the back is a lower... It's like a mason body, I would call it. They call it a dump body, but these are fold down sides, and usually most people would have a flatbed, but I decided, why wouldn't I just spend a little bit extra money and get a, a body I can use also in the summer with uh, low sides, you can load pallets of sod, you can put boards in here, make it another landscaping body. So I figured that would be a good call, and I'm really happy I did. You can see it's we're pretty dirty. It's pretty salty, Brian. I'm good. So we're not we're not we're not actors, all right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so here you can see is the 200 gallons of liquid tank. There's four of these. They're 50 gallons each. Okay. And uh, mm. the nice thing about the Snowx spreader, they call it like a triple threat. So it's got the granular salt in the back, obviously. It's and it's got liquid. Uh, nozzles on the back so the liquid nozzles spray down like a like a brine sprayer on another truck so it sprays the ground and also you can treat your salt so internally there's a nozzle that treats the granulars as it's coming out and then pre-treats um, yeah it pre-treats the salt so that's the triple threat so it's really nice yeah, um, that's awesome yeah and, and for our market uh, we can use the brine whenever we're um, when it's like the next storm will definitely brine because it, it's not supposed to rain when it's coming in. But here the issue is we get a lot of storms where the rain starts it and then it'll transition to snow, and you can't put brine down in that case because it'll wash away. Yep. Um, so, but it's just nice to have options. That's one thing I've always liked is having options. And uh, here you can even see one of those tiny floodlights from Yusuf, but does a really nice job. There you it's go. Like incredibly bright. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's that's the rig, and then actually my buddy uh, my buddy RJ installed a little wand in the back here for uh, so you can spray walkways down. Oh, Pretty there cool. you go. Yeah. So, and then um, you have the backup cam on this one, don't you? Yeah. I think I saw on the backup cam is right there. You can see it's actually heated. 
pretty sweet. Yep. Um, and you can see like the switch and go roller here too. So that's how it all works. But yeah, backup camera must have. This this truck is way too long than I have a backup camera. Amen to that. This thing is like a hunt. It's a, a 102 inch wheelbase, I believe. So it's just long. And uh, then you get another two feet. The salt is sticking out. Another three in the front. So that's crazy. It's like a bus. Um, really quick, the switch and go. Yep. I know that's something you wanted to highlight because it's uh, been a transform formative uh piece of equipment for your business totally so talk to me for just a quick minute and shout out to the switch and go people not sponsored so what's the the whole pitch with the stitch, uh switch and goes yeah so as i mentioned before with the, the ability to be able to change out your units on a moment's notice from let's say the salter body to like a dumpster for landscaping or leaf cleanups is huge second of all we find ourselves a lot with we have you know tight backyards here with some gates sometimes so with the dingo you can't load a, a normal truck up with a dingo um you can just open the side door and the back door and fit a little bit in okay but you can't load the whole thing so now we're able to load the put the dump drop a dumpster on the ground load the whole thing because the dumpster heights like 51 inches and it's amazing um so it's just about being flexible um you you know we've we've rented dumpsters before for sod projects or projects where we're hauling a lot of waste and it's just too much work to truck it off because we couldn't fit that much in the truck sure but now we have our own dumpster company basically you know with we can just drop our own dumpsters and it's it's a, it's gonna be a game changer for landscaping we only got this truck about a month ago and we already used it a couple times and Brent you'd be surprised how much weight you could pull up maybe maybe more than I should be <laughs> I haven't had the front wheels come off the ground yet but man this thing is it's incredible it's a 15,000 pound worn winch um, and the whole system is just real simple and easy to use. You put the winch right on the, uh, you can even see it there. You put yep. the winch right onto that, that, um, that ring and it pulls it right up. They have a bunch of different bodies. They have a flatbed, they have, you know, the, the low side body, dumpsters. One thing I'd like to get in the future, maybe in the summer, is a, they have a mowing body. They call it landscape body. So it's basically a, a uh, it's a trailer, basically dovetail with a gate. Okay. So it basically turns your truck into a, uh, what, I don't know, eight, eight by 11 by eight trailer or something like that. So kind of like a ramp rack. Yeah, exactly. So that you have to have a trailer. So I think that'd be really nice eventually, especially around here. Yeah. During the day, there's just so many, like there's so much work being done around the area that the, the parking's kind of tight in the roads and one less trailer is, is a win in my book. Dude, that's awesome, man. Definitely. Well, good really for you, man. Big investment for us. Um, just, it's just kind of crazy. We've had a couple pieces of equipment all real quick and it's honestly like it's a blessing and it's really it's really good because over the last couple of years we've made a lot of sacrifices and hard work and i would say working below our means in the sense that we've been you know we've been renting equipment we've been making do with what we've had and this year has been like a, a pretty big breakthrough year with us and it just feels really good to have to have all the right equipment that we need for the jobs when we need it dude that's awesome really man cool. Good for you, dude. Well, uh, where can people find you, man, or anything else you got? But uh, we'll we'll button this thing up. Super yeah. appreciate the tour, and uh, I don't want to go too long out here. We don't, both don't want to get uh, some frostbite because uh, it really is zero degrees out right now. But, yeah, uh, you guys can find me on Instagram at C and I Services LLC. It, as you're gonna probably say in a second here, it looks like candy, candy services LLC. Yep. With an I, um, and on YouTube, C and I Services LLC as well. We. Uh, get some great content out there on snow this winter on both platforms and uh if you guys are interested in checking it out or ever have need questions or whatever just shoot me a message on instagram happy to uh discuss all right man well thanks so much for the tour thanks so much for being a good host in chicago land man appreciate the time and uh we'll definitely catch up with you guys here soon all right guys well that's what we got here on today's vlog with christian with cni services guys this has been such a fun experience getting to zip around the country and show the latest and greatest and some of the best that i have to offer for you guys with all the people that we had on the fall winter shop tour series from big to small to snow to ice and everything in between everybody that was on the tour did such a great job hey if you guys want to check out the rest of the playlist i'll leave a little end screen here and a card so you guys can check out those videos and again one last quick thank you to billy go western and buyers for sponsoring this series hey really quick if you guys want to check out some of the latest and greatest that billy goat has to offer i'm going to leave an end screen here so you guys can check out a little bit more about their product line because we all know that spring is going to be right around the corner and that means spring cleanups check out the p2000 the debris loaders the leaf dragon and so much more and shout out to billy goat and we'll wrap this guy up all right guys over now thank you so much for watching happy holidays merry christmas and we'll catch up with you guys here soon